Eight months after the war in Gaza, the International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant for the Israeli Prime Minister. According to the ICC press release, Benjamin Netanyahu and his defense minister Yaouf Gallant have been prosecuted for alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity committed in Gaza. In addition to these Israeli figures, senior members of the Islamist movement of Hamas are also being prosecuted on the same charges. Ismail Haniye and Yanya Sinwa, two senior Hamas figures, are also being prosecuted. The reaction of the international community was immediate and mixed. Some countries welcomed the decision as a step towards justice and hold leaders accountable for the acts committed in conflict zones. Others, however, criticized the International Criminal Court. In Israel, the announcement caused a political upheaval. Benjamin Netanyahu, who has long maintained that the Israeli army's action in Gaza were legitimate defensive measures, denounced the Warren request as an attack on Israel's sovereignty and a parody of justice. Yoav Galan also rejected the accusations, saying that the military operations had been carried out in accordance with international law. The United States also expressed its disapproval. President Joe Biden called on ICC's decision outrageous and stressed that there is no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. The U.S. State Department echoed this sentiment, claiming that the ICC has no jurisdiction in the case because Israel is not a signatory to the Rome Statute, the treaty that established the court.